enshrines same-sex marriages and interracial marriages into law. The next step is the House of Representatives. ABC 7's Emma Hugger joins us live to break down what's happening on Capitol Hill. Emma. That vote in the Senate happened this afternoon with 61 senators voting in favor. The Respect for Marriage Act has received bipartisan support throughout Congress. Republicans and Democratic senators joined earlier this month to vote down a filibuster and get the bill to the floor. I spoke with Dr. Brenda Risch, D executive director of the local advocacy group, the Borderland Rainbow Center. Rich says the bill protects same-sex marriages on a federal level. That means that if the 2015 Supreme Court ruling that legalized gay marriage is ever overturned, same-sex unions would still be protected. This bill does not require gay marriage to be legalized in every state, but it does require states to recognize all unions formed in other states. Rich says the act would have a direct impact on borderland residents. So I think that it, it uh, provides stability. Um, I think that it, it, it endorses the majority opinion of Americans, which is that, you know, same-sex couples should be able to marry and should have the same, um, you know, equitable rights to um, straight couples. Interracial marriages are also protected. The House could vote on this measure as soon as Tuesday. Repu er, President Biden is expected to sign the bill into law if it gets to his desk. Emma Hoggard, ABC7. All right, Emma.